Good morning. I am one more Christian. Today is the day the Lord has made, and each day God's mercies are new. I would like to pray for us before I begin. Holy Spirit, come. I pray in Jesus' name that your uh, spirit would be upon me as I read your word, as I read it and study it, and as uh, I pray that you would be upon those hearing it, that your Holy Spirit would be upon them with truth, understanding, and guidance. Lord, I pray for the families that, that you would give them peace, comfort in yourself. Lord. Holy Spirit, you must reveal the truth to us because your word says that the natural man can understand none of this. Um, so let us not be deceived, Lord. I pray that you would open our eyes, soften our hearts. In Jesus' name, amen. Good morning. It's Friday. It's a beautiful day. It's spring. We're here in Northern California. It is not yet 120 degrees. So I'm grateful for the wind. Oh. I'm grateful for my daughter Leah and her stick. Okay. Look. It's a deer. It's a deer. Okay. See red? Yes. Oh, look, a rebox. Rebox. Okay. Here we are. Now, I said that I would read from a different Bible each day. And uh, I suppose once I run out of Bibles, I will just start over at the beginning or pick my favorite. This Bible here I found in my grandmother's um, things in the attic. And it's interesting because, well, it is the American Standard Version, but this Bible, I said yesterday that I didn't have another Bible with tabs, but this one does have the convenient locators, which I love so much, but this is not a daily reader. This is, this is a classic. Uh, apparently it was given to a Floyd Reed in... 1933. However, and I believe that's like silver ink. But this one is from 1901. What does it say there? 1901. So it's a very old Bible. So when I picked it up, I expected it to be a King James Version. I was surprised that it is American Standard Version. Which is which is cool, and uh, what do we got there? I'm trying to get it to focus so you can see that. Is that even the spot? Oh yeah, copyright 1901. Well, in any case, it's a very old Bible, and I'm going to read from it. And today I've chosen, uh, you know, as I get started here, I'm just going to choose what I think would be some pretty basic scriptures to go into. I'm not going to get complicated on you. I'm not trying to do anything new. I'm going to start today in Psalm, or excuse me, Proverbs 1, because that's a place to get wisdom, and uh, we need wisdom, don't we? So, let's cruise through Psalms here. I love this. I love this Bible. I love God's Word. Um, here we are. Proverbs 1. The use of Proverbs, wisdom's warnings to those who despise her. Okay. Yeah. Well, I certainly don't want to despise wisdom, although I have historically. The Proverbs of Solomon, the son of David, king of Israel. <clears throat> Let us begin. Oh, it goes on to say, To know wisdom and instruction, to discern the words of understanding, to receive instruction in wise dealing, in righteousness and justice and equity, to give prudence to the simple, to the young man knowledge and discretion, that the wise man may hear and increase in learning. 
and that the man of understanding may attain unto sound counsels. To understand a proverb and a figure, the words of the wise and their dark sayings. The fear of Jehovah is the beginning of knowledge, but the foolish despise wisdom and instruction. My son, hear the instruction of thy father, and forsake not the law of thy mother, for, thy, for they shall be a chaplet of grace unto, unto thy head and chains about thy neck. My son, if sinners entice thee, consent thou not. If they say, come with us, let us lay wait for blood. Let us lurk privily for the innocent without cause. Let us swallow them up alive as sheol, and whole as those that go down into the pit. We shall find all precious substance. We shall fill our houses with spoil, Thou shalt cast thy lot among us? We will all have one purse. My son, walk not thou in the way with them. Refrain thy foot from their path, for their feet run to evil, and they make haste to shed blood. For in vain is the net spread in the sight of any bird. And these lay wait for their own blood. They lurk privily for their own lives. So are the ways of everyone that is greedy of gain. It taketh away the life of the owners thereof. Wisdom crieth aloud in the street. She uttereth her voice in the broad places. She crieth in the chief place of concourse. At the entrance of the gates in the city she uttereth her words. How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? And scoffers delight them in scoffing. And fools hate knowledge. Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit upon you. I will make known my words unto you. Because I have called, and ye have refused. I have stretched out my hand, and no man hath regarded. But ye have set at naught all my counsel, and would none of my reproof. I also will laugh in the day of your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. When your fear cometh as a storm, and your calamity cometh on as a whirlwind, and your calamity cometh on as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish come upon you, then will they call upon me, but I will not answer. They will seek me diligently, but they shall not find me. For that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of Jehovah, they would none of my counsel. They despised all my reproof. Therefore shall they eat of the fruit of their own way, and be filled with their own devices. For the backsliding of the simple shall slay them, and the careless ease of fools shall destroy them. But whoso hearkeneth unto me shall dwell securely, and shall be quiet without fear of evil. Well, I think this is a uh, this is neat because I don't you know I. Uh, most often I have studied in the NIV and the ESV Bibles. Uh, and of course we're all familiar with the King James from childhood most likely. Or some of you prefer it. Uh, however, uh, so I'm enjoying this. I enjoy this. Uh, I enjoy this translation. Proverbs 1. There's a lot of things that came up here that I... I didn't expect to really take me back to Psalms 1 that I just read, I think, uh, the day before yesterday. And uh, about walking in the way of sinners, uh, sitting in the way of scoffers, um, in the seat of scoffers. So awesome, but I won't go into that. Uh, this is a pretty long one, but this is... Proverbs and it calls us to wisdom to doing what is right and not just for the sake of uh, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom so hi no fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom why is that 
Well, probably because so fear Fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Why is that? So fear now I will not say that I don't fear the Lord. Um, if there's anybody to be afraid of making angry, I think the Lord is the beginning. But when I think of fear of the Lord, I think of respect. Um, because God is not a father waiting to hit you when you say the wrong thing. But if you respect your father, you know, when I lived with my dad, uh, I he never hit me ever. But... I was afraid to make him angry. I, I didn't want him to be angry with me. I didn't want him to be upset. Uh, so whether I understood it or not, it's probably a good thing, you know, because he's probably trying to give me good advice. So fear of the Lord is to respect God and his precepts and all his ways. And that's wise because God knows what he's doing. He knows what's going on. He made all of this. He made... The past that we walk on, he made, he made knowledge. He made, God created, we talk about science. Well, God created that too. Uh, God knows exactly how gravity works. So he knows that you shouldn't walk off a cliff because he knows what will happen. You'll fall. But it's rarely that, uh, you know, for children, it can be that simple. Don't play in the street. Don't go so close to the edge, you'll fall. But with us, it can sometimes be uh, a little more tricky, you know. Hey, don't go out and, you know, don't go out and get drunk every night. And as a young person, you may say, well, why not? You know, I, I'm an adult now. I can drink every night if, or whatever it may be. Don't drive, you know, don't drink and drive. Don't drive too fast. Don't, um do things that at times we think that being an adult gives us the right to do but uh you know as paul says you know for for those of us who are in christ all things are, are permissible but not all things are prudent not all things are wise uh so yeah you can do whatever you want but what what is wise and perhaps 99 percent of the time that you um Drink and drive, for example. You might be fine, but then one day somebody dies. Maybe it's you, maybe it's somebody else, maybe it's their child. That's horrible, so why do that? Because you will tell yourself, well, you know, 99% of the time, I'm fine. You know, I can do this. But why would you do something that is a life and death matter? I won't go into skydiving. Maybe you like to skydive. I don't know. However, but then he goes on to he goes on to explain here. Um, you know, when when somebody comes to you and says, "Hey, you know, let's just go out on the road and kill these people. Take what they got. Uh, and we'll split it up. We'll do fine. Everything will be fine." Well, there's obviously consequences for the people you're killing, but. Uh, Somebody's going to want to kill you. And uh, what you do in secret may one day be uncovered. So when those people come and say, let's go and take these things, go and do this, uh, don't do it. Fools hate knowledge. Scoffers delight, in them, delight them in scoffing. Simple ones love simplicity. There's a lot to unpack here, so I'm not going to go too crazy. Um, here towards the end, there was something that uh, I did want to dive into. They despised all my reproof, therefore they shall eat of the fruit of their own way. Yeah, you reap what you sow. Be filled with their own devices. The careless ease of fools shall destroy them. That's what struck me because I was once a fool 
that lived with careless Good. ease. Flowers? Thank you. Praise God. Uh, living with careless ease, you know, like, uh, you know, you only live once and, uh, and all that stuff that we tell ourselves so that we can have fun without worrying about the consequences. Careless ease, you know, when somebody disagrees with you, with, with what you do, you say, I don't care. You know, I don't care about their opinion. I don't care. Um, you know, and that's a whole story. Uh, whether or not you should care about other people's opinion, but the point is Sometimes they're right Sometimes you shouldn't do that The careless ease of fools shall destroy them. So if I live my life with careless ease Constantly being careless. I mean that was my whole lifestyle was that I was going to be careless until it killed me Dad, it's, okay. it's an airplane but I don't want to die, I want to live. Thank you. Water? Water? Yeah. Go find some water. Okay. Wisdom. The careless ease of fools shall destroy them. Life is not a game. If you're careless, there will be consequences. It doesn't mean you shouldn't be at peace, that you shouldn't relax, that you shouldn't find comfort uh, when, the, when the time is right. But to live a life of careless ease constantly, <clears throat> I think is foolish even in the eyes of the world. I think that really speaks to me. Proverbs 1, 32. The backsliding of the simple shall slay them, and the careless ease of fools shall destroy them. Thank you. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you. So, I have to just go meditate on that now. I don't even know what to say about it. But Proverbs 1, 32, says this. For the backsliding... Of the simple shall slay them. For me, that means little things that I do that are selfish or careless. And, this, and the careless ease of fools shall destroy them. So when you give people wisdom and they say, whatever. Um, okay, I mean, you win, you win that argument, but... So it may potentially it. destroy you, and maybe it won't. I mean, life's not fair. Because uh, God's kingdom I'm has not yet fully flowers. come. So, <clears throat> I don't know what's fair, honestly, but God does. So I would just like to pray in closing that we would meditate on what Proverbs 1 means to you and how you can apply it to your life. What is wisdom? Wisdom is not just knowing the right way, but going in that way. Okay, go put those flowers back, please. I'm going to end in prayer. Holy Spirit, I pray that you would be upon us with truth and wisdom, Lord. With comfort and peace. With yourself, with your love, that we would love others. That your blessings would flow out of us onto other people. And that we would serve you and serve people and know truth. And I pray all this in Jesus' name. And I pray, Shalom. Peace be upon you and your household. Amen. I'll see you soon.